Hey folks, Wrath coming at you with the third video in the installment for the Endless Battle event that we have. This time we're going to be talking about Spider Hell. Couple notes for me. So yesterday I didn't have an opportunity to get this video out and I was messing around with X20 Corrales. Uh, I did X30 him today and definitely believe he's totally worth it. I'm going to have a separate video coming out later today to talk about that. But without further ado, let's jump into this video. Team that I've settled on for auto is Nord, Ravenna, Krolis, Jaina, and then Isaki. Using a Grace Commander, Flowing Rune. I don't currently have the Legendary Equivalent book that was recently released. And then two for stats, Prism Amulet and the Revitalization Crystal. I have seen some folks use Luke here instead of Kuren Isaki. I, it just seems to be very RNG gated. So jumping into nord he's in a crit build so crit rate attack attack on the bottom row a couple of his pieces are tempered tier one not tier two he's uh he's what i'm working to get a full tempered set on he is x30 next is ravenna she's just in a surge and sun signet set crit build as well so crit rate attack attack on the bottom here we've got corollis surge set with a crit damage gloves crit rate gloves is what i would recommend if you can't get close to crit cap however uh the rest of my gear is fairly good for this guy so i actually get to like 90 95 percent crit rate using crit damage gloves but for for folks that don't have a good crit rate damage with substats of crit rate for the other pieces i would recommend that you do a crit rate gloves she is in a surge crit build so crit rate attack attack and then isaki we've got two separate builds I've tried either Resonant and Unleashed, both have similar results. So here for this run, I'm using her in Unleashed and then just showcasing the commander that I have, which for middle row units gives me 15 crit rate. So fantastic for both Corollis and Jaina. Again, this is a full auto build. Everyone is fairly evolved being Hyper and X30 and nobody but Jaina is close to being I5. I have seen some folks do like 45, 46 million damage here, both with Asaki or Luke. So it just depends a little bit on RNG. Observations here are if you can get through the early stages quickly. So these stages that are happening right now while preserving Jaina's alts or the alts of the other characters, you can get to the bonus stages that give you a lot more points. I found it incredibly hard to time this on manual and on top of that super tedious like it takes four to five minutes per run and today and yesterday i didn't have a lot of time to spare to test that out but what you're trying to do is you're trying to avoid jaina using her ult only when two of the spiderlings are down in which case she can't get back up to the next ult slowing the round down considerably and then resulting in a low damage score. So for me, the variance here is actually fairly high. I've seen it do as low as 27 million and as high as 40 million for the run. So a lot, a lot of RNG gated in here. I'm going to put some tunes for you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you found a similar or better team. But this is just version one of what I've come up with that seems to work well for me. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.